In today's video, I'm going to answer the top five questions with a bonus one at the end that clients ask about hair color. First question is, should I wash my hair before I come in for a color service? The answer is yes and no. No, you should not wash it immediately before you come in because you're putting a chemical directly on your head. This chemical can cause some irritation. So the less scrubbing that you do before a color service, the better it is going to be for you. I say yes and no because if you have a ton of product on your hair, it's a good idea to get that off. If you want to do a light shampoo, that's okay, but I certainly wouldn't want to really aggravate or scrub the head a whole lot before a hair color service. We want to keep that protective sebum barrier really good and healthy before we get started. Question number two, can I color my hair lighter without using bleach? Again, answer yes and no. If you have never colored your hair, if you have what's called virgin hair, you can go lighter with just a color. Up to four levels of lift is what you're going to get with color. If you've colored your hair before and you're looking to go lighter, color will not lift color. And the only possible way to do this is by using lightener or bleach. Now, there's a lot of great lightening products on the market today. A lot of them are more gentle. And if you're getting them done by a professional and you're in a controlled environment where the professional has been trained in how to properly use them, I would never recommend that you try to lighten your hair at home. I have seen this go disastrously bad. Question number three, how can I get my color to grow out more natural? So there's a few ways to do this. If you have highlights, the best way to do this is to use what's called a root smudge. A root smudge is basically a demi-permanent hair color that's applied to the root and it's combed out about an inch or two over the existing blonde that's in your hair. The color, the demi color that's on the root is the same color as your root. So it makes it look as if it's a little bit more grown out and it really muddies up those lines. So it makes it look much more natural. This is a great thing to do if you are looking to not have to go to the hair salon so often for your lightening. If you have permanent color, it's kind of flipped. So with permanent color, you have a solid permanent color. That means you have a solid root coming in. I call it the skunk line. You have this root coming in and it looks terrible. A great way to do this is to actually put some foils into the hair. If you can put more than one color in the hair, it actually distracts the eye. It's all about creating illusion. I like to do a base color, which is the color that the client is looking for. And then I'll add a lighter color with a foil. I don't have to do a lot, but sometimes just a few face framing up around the top. It's a really great way to distract the eye and it breaks up the line so that you don't just have like gray roots and dark ends. You also have this other color that's filtering through. It's a great way to help that blend out and grow out a lot more natural. And you should get an extra couple of weeks on your color. Question number four, should my hair color be warm? or should it be cool? This is one that we have lots of discussions about. If you wanna have a quick look at your veins, we all have veins in our wrists and our arms, take a look at the color. If the color is more green, then you're warm. If the color is more blue, then you're cool. You think about uh, green eyes and redheads. It looks so beautiful. And then a lot of people like myself, I have brown eyes. So brown eyes, I have blue veins. So the blue veins, I wear cooler colors better. It's just the way that it works. So green veins, warm colors are more suiting to you and blue veins, cool colors are more suitable for you. Question number five, when do I wash my hair after I get my color service? So this is another good one. I like to tell clients to wait at least a day or two. Um, if you can go longer with washing your hair, go as long as you can. The thing is, color just, there's a coating that goes on to the hair. So let me explain it this way. Permanent color, it goes into the cuticle, into the cortex, rearranges all the melanin and it stays in there. However, there is some color that sits on the top of the hair. It's like a residual color that sits on the top. The longer that this residual color is on the top, the longer your hair is going to look fresh. It's going to look shiny. 
the more you wash your hair, this residual color comes off. The permanent color is within the, the cortex of the hair. This is not going to go anywhere. However, this residual color that's left on the top, that's what's going to fade with the sun and all those things. So I would highly recommend to wait as long as you can after a color to make sure that you're getting the longevity of the color. Bonus question, how do I get color off of my skin? Well, the easiest thing is to not get it on your skin to begin with. I mean is use a barrier cream. A lot of people like to use just plain old Vaseline. This works really well. But a lot of companies now have come out with hair color lines that are actually oil based. What this is going to create is an oil and water reaction. Our bodies are like a lot of water in them. There's so much water, we're basically just water. If I put oil on my skin, it's going to want to repel. If I have an oil color on a water-based surface, it's not going to stain the skin. Check with your hairdresser and see what kind of oil-based products that they may have for hair coloring. There's lots of them out on the market today and this is a great option if you don't want any staining. If you've done the hair color service, there's staining on your skin, I do have a last resort and this is the principle that color will actually remove color. So while you're in the sink, put some water on your color and then take your fingers and emulsify or rub that color over the staining that's along your hairline. It will actually help to pull the color off believe it or not. If you get home and you notice that there's hair color on your skin, sometimes a good exfoliator will work well. Usually within a couple of days it will come off. Anyway, those are the five questions with our bonus question at the end. I hope that you found this really helpful. If you do have any other questions, please put them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them for you. In the meantime, have a great hair day.